for stopping by my channel i am cc and i'm a reseller on poshmark and i'm here today to do i want to keep this quick so i'm gonna try to squeeze a lot of information in and um yeah let's go i went to an event yesterday at my local goodwill region which is the southeast georgia region re region and they had an event called sip and shop and they held this at the pooler goodwill which is down by the airport a little north of or up by the airport a little bit north of Savannah, but for $20, you got to go and have exclusive access to the store. They promised uh, kind of curated merchandise racks. And the CEO of Southeast Georgia Goodwill was there. I can't talk tonight, clearly. And the marketing director was there, and they had about four staff. So this event was from 6.30 p.m. to 8, and that location typically closes at 8, but they close it to the public at 6.30, and you guys should have seen all the people trying to get in, but um, it was funny, which I would have been irritated if I was a shopper and I had no idea, but anywho, um, they welcomed us in with, we could have our choice of wine or lemonade, there was a meat and cheese tray, and a vegetable and dip tray, and a dessert tray, and then they talked just really briefly about how the night would go and about Goodwill's philosophy in general. And they were so welcoming and just super nice and it was really fun. They got us all pepped up to shop, but they said there would be racks coming out, there would be quizzes, we could come back and replenish our refreshments anytime we like so um everybody kind of got in and chatted a little bit and got right to it it was nice i'd say there were about probably 15 to 17 shoppers there so plenty of elbow space really nice people great opportunity for networking and finding out why other people are there if they are resellers where else are they thrifting that sort of thing so i would say the event was great it might have been priced a little high um the x the ticket fee was twenty dollars um so after they talked to us, we were all set free to roam about the store and every about, I'd, they rolled out a lot of racks and as they were rolling them out and we shopped them, they're just the regular Z bar racks that you see at any Goodwill. They would start putting them out on the floor, just like any merchandise. Um, they said the racks were curated and while there wasn't like junk on the racks, I didn't find anything on any of these racks and I made a beeline to all of them. And some of them were the clothing racks and some of them were the shelved racks where they put like toys and shoes and that. So they had a mix of household items, toys, shoes, purses, etc. on the racks. And then on clothing racks, they had clothes, mostly women's. They did have some men's. Um, again, didn't find anything on any of the racks. But I started perusing the store and everybody was busy looking around. And I found some items, which I'm just going to show you in a bit. Another thing they did is about every... So it was an hour and a half. I'd say every 15 minutes they got on the PA and did a quiz. If you got the answer right, you got a $5 credit to your Goodwill points account. So that was nice. I knew a few of the answers, but I'm not a fast hand raiser. So I didn't get, <laughs> I, didn't win, I didn't win anything. What else? I already said we got 15. They gave us a 15% discount on everything we bought. When we came in, we got one of the standard... Goodwill bag so they handed that out at the door and it was great um I will say if you want to get on their email list they have really fun events they had a thrift hop in both September and December I went to the one in September and I'm going to just show you I think I said in one of my clips that I thought we'd get a swag bag here we did not but at the thrift hop I went to in September where they took us around to like three different Goodwills and we got on they had a trolley for us and that one, I believe, was $25, but we'd get off and go in and shop. Then we'd all get back on the trolley and take the trolley with all the other thrifters to another Goodwill. And there were some great poshers on that one that I met. But um, on that one, they gave us, they had these Goodwill cookies. So this is hand sanitizer. I ate the cookies, so I'm just going to tell you about the cookies. But they're huge, mongous sugar cookies. They're white with the Goodwill little face on them and frosting. Oh my gosh, so amazing. But this is hand sanitizer. I got it that. And then like a bumper sticker window decal and then these goodwill sunglasses so they're trying to you know do some marketing and fun things which i think is just amazing 
So in the interest of keeping this moving though, I'm going to show you what I got and then I'll wrap it up um, with just a few tidbits I found out when they went um, at these things. They always talk to you and give you a little bit of history about Goodwill or a few tidbits. And there's one thing I found really interesting that I want to share. With the 15% discount, I spent $31.68. The first thing I got was this plant. So this is a fake plant. Obviously, it's plastic. And one of my things, like, is my signature for my closet. I always have a plant, usually in the background somewhere. I recently just got a photo booth so I can do pictures at night, etc. And I have a video on that if you're interested in um, what I got. But the, uh, the plants, so I'm always having to move my plants, like my house plants. Like they can't have a permanent place because I'm rotating them out to change. So I said, well, let me get a permanent one. But this is a little bit big for my photo booth, so I'm disappointed in that. These little things pull out, so I think I can work with it a little bit. They had five more for sale. I was like, well, maybe I should have just gotten three of them and made the whole background plants. And maybe I should go back and do that. That just occurred to me. Something to think about. But that was $5.99. La, 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 la. And with the discount, it was $0.90 cents off, so $5.09. Then I got a pair of Bionic flats and they're in good condition they're a calf here and they're the ballet style and the sole is in great condition there's a little bit of wear to the insole i might try to vacuum that out but these are size seven and i looked up comps in the store and they're still bionic flats are still selling okay i'm not going to make a killing but i'll make a little bit of a profit because these were 6.99 and then a dollar five off so i got those I got this for myself, it's just, and it was $4.89. I found it in the pajama wear section, but it's actually just like a kimono. And they had it priced as such, because their pajamas are usually $2.89. But this I thought would be great for when there's a little bit of a nip in the air and I'm doing my pictures. I like to have something to layer on. Um, and if I wash it and try it on and don't like it, I'll just sell it. Because it's cute, it's just, it's a little bit faded. It looks like it's vintage. The brand on that was, LeBlanc, LeBlanca, I think. So, anywho. Then I got this. I looked up comps in the store. This is off-season. The season for this just passed. But it's a gorgeous long line black sweater with gold metallic brocade. And, or jacquard. I think brocade is raised and jacquard is flat. It has some metallic under-threading. It's not really coming through. But... These sweaters can sell, I believe, from my comps for about 30. Some of them definitely sold for less. Less, excuse me, but this brand is L-U-I-I. -I. Not at all familiar with it, but it's made well. It's nice. So I will be getting that posted. This was an anthropology brand, and this was L. So that was... Uh, $4.89 and this was $4.89 as well of course less the 15% uh, but I hadn't heard of this anthropology brand which doesn't mean much but Serena and this is ex size extra large which is great that sweater I just showed you was size large but this is a multimedia blue and white stripe with embroidery on the back like a I think it could be worn as a summer dress. It hits like right above the knee on me or a long line like shirt with leggings. And it kind of has little silver ornate buttons. So I think, you know, I'm going to price that probably about 35, 40. Then is that the last thing I got? I got two pair of shoes, two tops, my own thing, the plant. And I took a clip of myself finding these, but so this was not on any of their curated racks or carts. These were sitting on the back wall, which I'll put a picture of. But yeah, Rothy's. They've got the blue halo. They're size six and a half. $6.99. They had these priced at $6.99. They had a pair of Uggs on the back wall that were actually, they were black suede. They were nice. They were the shin height Uggs. They were like the typical Ugg, but they had a black fur lining that kind of came out. And I've sold a pair, a different color, uh, brown one but similar to that before and I got good money for them they were priced at $20.99 and because the season was changing and there was a little bit of wear to the toe box I just passed on them 
and ugg to me just it takes a long time for me to sell uggs but the rothies i'm happy with i've not sold this style i've only i have a pair of roth i've not sold any rothies quite honestly i have a pair for sale in my closet that have been there for a while and i paid up for those so i'm not going to take they're in great condition but i'm not giving them away but these because i only paid 6.99 for i'll clean this um white wall up with a little bit of goof off which works great and yeah these will be good to go they're in great shape they're like a tan beige so anyway, I'm at 10 minutes. I don't want to take up too much of your time. I just want to share. So that was my find of the day. Let me know what you think. I mean, I think it's kind of ironic that they had this event and they had curated item for, for us. And this was on the back wall and it, it, it slipped through. They didn't get it to shop Goodwill, which was amazing. And they also didn't curate it for their special event rack. So I found it and I walked right past them because they're so neutral. But then I always do a loop back on the shoes and I saw that blue. I was like, oh my gosh, the rock. But, um, yeah, like I said, those all those items were $31.68, and that includes the discount. The event itself was $20, so that means I spent really $51.68 for those items because I could have gone to that Goodwill at any time and gotten those items. Um, I think I already mentioned, if not, I'll say really quick, that Pooler Goodwill is either feast or famine for me. I can go in there and look in every nook and cranny of the store and come out with one item that's meh. Or I can go in there just meaning to pop in and it's like everything I touch turns to gold and I've spent $125 and I've got three bags. So um, that pooler is kind of hit or miss anyway, or that, that Goodwill location in pooler is hit or miss for me. That being said, I had a great time. It was nice to meet some other thrifters. I think there were two other resellers there and... Uh, it was nice to have the run of the store and it was nice to just kind of be catered to. If they have it again, I'll probably skip the next one and then maybe go to a subsequent one at a different location. But I, I, I spend a lot of time at Goodwill and I like to support them. I mean, um, I don't round up when I pay because I need my receipts to be exact, which I'm sure you guys do too. But it's a fun thing that they're doing and I appreciate it. So I like to go out and have a good time. The one tidbit really quick I want to give you, I, told, I showed you the swag. Yeah, oh, so when we went on the thrift hop and they took us to three different Goodwills, might have been, four. no, it was four, but we started at the bins. So the bins are where they currently have their corporate offices here in Satana. And they gave us a tour of the bins inside and out. So of course I'd been to the shopping part, but they took us in the back and they had y'all stacked to the ceiling just bailed clothing that was wrapped up however things are bailed together I can't remember but I stacked to the ceiling these are things when they're pulling those carts those blue tubs from the floor they get condensed into bales and you know they sell them to other countries or whatever they do with them or to the <clears throat> those other places that buy clothes in bulk I don't I'm going off on a tangent here but they had a lot of it and the way that so they try to move their inventory really fast and the the thing that they told me, at least in this Goodwill region that they do, is when you have a color tag at the regular stores, that item is to stay for a week. So, for example, if they tag red, if so, they're putting stuff out on the floor on Monday and they do it with red tags. The next Monday, it's been a week, they go through the store on the floor and pull everything with a red tag. Those items go to the bins and then what happens at the bins happens at the bins and if it doesn't sell there, it goes <clears throat> into those bail bailed pallets in the back so I thought that it was really interesting that 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 items at the Goodwill only sat for a week I would have thought they sat a lot longer but that's what they apparently do here I don't go there's a Goodwill about half a mile away from me but I am um, I don't go to any one Goodwill location enough to test that theory I appreciate you stopping by I appreciate you watching um, please like and subscribe if this type of content is useful for you my luggage is and I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, bye. Hi, thank you so much for coming by my channel. My name is Cece and I am a reseller on Poshmark. And I said I would come back and do this video today about an event. I have dust on my shoulder. It's not dandruff, it's... it's <laughs> It's totally lint, but yeah, anyway, we'll just have to deal with that. I'm wearing black. Oh.
Thank you.